Hello everybody, this is Backblast. Here I am again on Thimbleweed Park. We're about to take this check stub to the lawyer. Let's uh, let's do it this way. It's easier doing it this way. Back to the hotel. And I think we've found some sort of um, a map guide to the trailhead, which which would be interesting. Uh, we want to go up here, don't we? Still people wandering about there. Yeah, 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 yeah. In we go. In we go. So, give, give, give. That to Brant. What good is a check stub? It doesn't prove anything. What? I'd need the actual cancelled check as proof. What? Pew, pew, pew. And where am I going to get that from? From the bank? Maybe. There, there, there is a bank, isn't there? Uh, is, is, is there anybody at the bank now? So where's the bank? It's up here. So what the hell? Oh, Secret I'm pizza good. meeting! You want a free pizza coupon? Wink, wink. Um. What's the deal with the pizza coupon? You want a free pizza coupon? Wink, wink. Okay, but what do I get with it? <laughs> um, a coupon? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Oh, it protects me right from quiet. the signals. The signals. Do we know each other? Wait a second. You look familiar. <laughs> Weren't we in freshman chem class together? What's your name? Sandy. I know who you are. You're Dolores Edmond. You and your Uncle Chuck were working on mind control, Ray, to remove our free will before he died. <laughs> huh? Don't play dumb with me. I know you put bugs in our pillows. <laughs> You'll never take me alive! <laughs> okay. We have a pizza flyer. Dimbleweed Pizza! What was a picture of a tower, look. Picture of a tower. Free movie tron, movie rental. Excellent. Drop by our secret meeting. Don't touch the electric fence. And there's a code. 1941.59. Okay, maybe I'll write that down somewhere. 1941.59. I've just written it on something that's probably important. Um, free movie tron, movie rental. Should we go and get a movie while we're here? We need. Um, so let's use this, and there we go. We got a movie. Ah, a Betamax tape. <laughs> okay. It's a Betamax tape that I can't watch because no Betamax players exist in this town. Blazing Saddles by Mel Brooks. <laughs> I loved it, but not so sure about the ending. No, nah, the ending's all right. Right, where am I going? We want a hamburger as well, don't we? Um, so, is the bank open yet? No. No. Anybody? It's open! Beautiful. It's a promotional bank flyer. Okay, can we pick it up? Yep, yeah, got one open of those. Open an account today and get a free toaster. A free toaster? Impressive. Can I pinch it? I don't want to pick that up. Why is there a typewriter just sat here? There's a big safe there. There's nobody in the bank. There was a key there. Look, 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 look. Factory key. Factory Hello, key. safely first savings. Your money is in our hands. What's with all the heavy breathing and moaning? <laughs> I wish I could get them to stop calling. One of those fancy new wireless phones. There's no phone number on it. It's a small wooden animal figurine. Hello, safely first savings. Your money is in our hands. What's with all the heavy breathing and moaning? I wish I could get... I think I've seen this painting somewhere before. Really? I don't want to pick that up. Can we go over here? Hello, up? safely first savings. Excuse me, Miss Edmund. What are you doing? Oh, it's the knows. key to my uncle's factory. I just need to check things out. 
Miss Edmund, we take our trusteeship job seriously here. You know the factories in probate. Is this an obscene phone call? These obscene phone calls are getting annoying. Okay, um, give that to... Yes, how can I help you, Miss Edmund? Can you help me with this check stub? Oh yes, this handwriting brings back a flood of memories. Too bad about Mr. Edmund. He was such a wonderful man. Is that it? Excuse me. I'm sorry, how can I help you? <laughs> I need a copy of the check that goes with this stub. Yes, I believe I kept all of Mr. Edmund's cancelled checks right here. Cancelled? Here it is. Thank you. Okay. Hello, safely first... It's a copy of the check that Chuck wrote to his attorney, Brant Bailiwick. There's a note at the bottom. Paid in full. All things pertaining to the last will and testament of Chuck Edmund, including reading the will. Okay, so maybe I'll, um, I'll get access to the key if I can... Um, if, if the lawyer reads the will and he says that I have access to the factory, I'll get the key that way. I still need a hamburger, don't I? Give. Cancel check two. Brant. I have a cancel check for you. It clearly says that you were paid by Uncle Chuck to read the will. That it does. My apologies. I'll go to the mansion mansion right away. Now, why do I want a hamburger? Because I, I managed to get a boat off that guy, didn't Shut I? Shut up in there! Doctor Who has no appeal to Americans. Never has, never will. Um, do we try and get a hamburger? If I'm going to get a hamburger... Let's try and get a hamburger first. Just because... reasons? I don't know. We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this- Welcome back, Dolores. How's life being an important game developer? It's great, thank you. Um... I'm having an amazing time. There you go. It's good to have you back. I just uh, wanted to say, I know your Uncle Chuck was kind of a dick. You talking about me? Shut up, Dave! Look, writing you out of the will was a dick move. But I'm sure he was still proud. I'd like to think so. He just wasn't himself those last few years. His obsession with restarting the pillow factory, long hours in his workshop and vanishing for days. Anyway. I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. Good. What do you want? Hamburger. I'll have a hamburger. See, sorry honey. Those hot dogs are about to go bad, and I can't open a new package of hamburgers till they're gone. Really? I changed my mind. I'm not hungry. Later, Dolores. Okay, can we eat one? I'll have one of these hot dogs. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move them out. Let me get that for you. Eat up, hun, while it's still hot. Good. That'll make her ill. <laughs> This hot dog is even worse than the food in the mucus phlegm lunchroom. I, uh, gotta go. Ugh. Ugh. <sighs> I feel better now. Right, who hasn't had a hot dog? Maybe Ransom. Right, she needs to go back there, doesn't she? I see we are all here now. It's Excellent. Doug. Before we can proceed with the reading of the will, Chuck Edmund has three stipulations. One, thimbleberry pie must be served to all present. Okay. Two, the reading of the will must take place in Chuck's opulent tomb. Three, crack the encryption on this will. Let me see that. Oh, it's all ones and zeros, Dolores. You figure it out. It's binary. It is all ones and zeros. Clearly, it's in binary. <laughs> Uncle Chuck was being clever. Maybe too clever. 
Find out what happened to Dad, get inside the pillar factory, get the key to the factory gate, decrypt Chuck's will for the lawyer. And get a thimbleberry pie for the lawyer. Decrypt Chuck's will and get a thimbleberry pie. This is all in binary. Should be easy to write a program to convert it to ASCII so I can read the will. Write a program. This isn't working. What? I'm going to need a pretty powerful programming language to decrypt this will. What? Okay, so maybe something at that, uh, at that conference. So what else do we need? We we want to get some thimbleberry pie. Let's get Ransom down here. Let's get Ransom down here. Yeah, there we go. Ransom the Clown, come and eat some lovely hot dogs. That's great. You know you're not welcome in here, Ransom. You can't legally refuse me service because I'm a clown. No, but I can refuse you service because you're a B-pole clown. <laughs> Tell it to someone that cares. Just order your food and get lost. I'll have one of those disgusting hot dogs. Knock yourself out with those hot dogs. We're trying to move them before... Well... Before they walk in. Good. Then we'll be fine. Nom, nom, nom. This tastes like crap, and I ought to know. I uh, gotta go. He's gonna have trouble. <sighs> I feel better now. Righty, so Thimbleberry Pie, here we go. We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this. Welcome to the S&D Diner. What can I do for you, Dolores? Thimbleberry Pie, please. Do you have a Thimbleberry Pie? Sorry, there haven't been Thimbleberries in Thimbleweed County for years. What? Your Uncle Chuck, rest his soul, ate every last one of them. <laughs> he did like his Thimbleberry Pie. I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'm ready for that hamburger. All right, honey, now that you helped us move those hot dogs, you can have a hamburger. Dave, burn one, take it through the garden, and pin a rose on it. Ready. Been saving one here in the grill pocket, just in case. Here you go, hon. Right, so we've got a hamburger. Where do we get thimbleberry pie from? Uh, can we... Welcome to the S&D Diner. What can I do for you, Dolores? I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? Can we get a cherry pie and make it look I'll like thimbleberry? I'll have the cherry bread? pie. Sorry, some tall guy just ate the last slice with a cup of joe. Who? I'd like to order some food. Sure, everything's on the menu board. What do you want? I'll have a salad. We're out of salad. <laughs> I changed my mind. I'm not hungry. Later, Dolores. Right, so we have hamburger. Don't we? Hamburger, hamburger. Back to the hotel. Do we know each other?
Thanks. That's exactly what I wanted. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Mm. I, uh, 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 I have to go to my room. Which room? Which room? Teeny, tiny spaceships and bottles. That would be stealing. Well, that would be stealing. Well, that and I don't need more things to carry around. Is he... He's gone up to... Next to the top floor. Game. It's locked. Not a game. Sounds like someone's being sick in there. there I go. don't want to see that. All right. Oh, that's better. Now to get back to work. So one two oh eight. It's locked. Okay, how do I get into there? It doesn't work in that. No, I didn't think it would. I don't know why I bothered. Um, 1208. Okay, well maybe... Has she got a special thing for getting into rooms? Can you get into 1208? Is this just going there? Shut up in there! Hot Actually, shot first! Maybe if she speaks to the guy on the front desk. We'll do that. We'll speak to the guy on the front desk. Then we'll go back and try and get somebody to write a program for that. Front desk, please. Hello, Dolores. How lovely to see you today. How may I be a boo of service? How's business been going? In this town? Always slow. You know how it is. Well, Thimble Conaboo just opened to record crowds. How else may I be a boo of service? I'd like some more tickets for ThimbleCon. I'm sorry. We only have ThimbleCon tickets for K Scamabu contest winners. How else may I be a boo of service? I'm going to check out the beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. Okay. Shut up in there. Starships in bottles, handmade. How are you feeling now? Do you want another hamburger? Hamburger? How can you say that? Oh, ugh, bad memories. I, uh, 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 I have to go to my room. Okay, so th there's got to be a way of getting in there or something. Okay, the, the, I need to do something with that. Oh, I'd love to talk to him, but I'm too shy. What with him being famous and all. Mm. It's a puzzle dependency chart. The secret... Oh, cutting-edge computer technology. Okay. It doesn't work with that. 
This is all in binary. Should be easy to write a program to convert it to ASCII so I can read the will. Open an account today and get a free toaster. Hmm. But she can't write it because she hasn't got powerful software. This is powerful software, but Ron Gilbert's there. Oh, it's Gary Winnick now. Oh, I'd love to talk to him, but I'm too shy. What with him being famous and all. I thought it was Ron Gilbert. Why, why did I think it was Ron Gilbert? Um, what computer? Puzzle dependency chart used will with... It doesn't work with that. I know. It doesn't work with that. Uh, give that to... Nobody. Nobody. Okay. Uh, use that with computer chart. What's the book pile? Books on UFOs, animation, and puppies. Great. You, sir. Back to Thortel. Hi! Anything I can interest you in? I'm selling comics, D&D manuals, and original Star Trek spec scripts. The big guy in the red spandex might be interested in the Star Trek scripts. Okay. Good? Bye. <laughs> he's Cory! And? He's Cory! And not to be a rude ransom, but we're trying to get into character for the lookalike contest! Yeah, so? Get out of here! <laughs> Good one, Cory! For a moment, I thought you were Ransom the Clown! Amateurs. Wow! No need to start <laughs> swearing. And get a better costume! It's like you're not even trying! Ooh, burn. I need my joke book in perfect condition before I enter the contest. That's a different program every time you go. I don't want to talk to him. Pew, pew, pew! Starships in bottles. Handmade. Let me do the question to win a free starship. Only one starship in a bottle is given out free per day. Come back tomorrow for another chance. But I won't well be here tomorrow. Not my problem. Go yourself. You will not find better starships in a bottle than these. I don't want to talk to him. Right. Right, what have I got then? Pew, pew, pew! Can she go up to like 12 or 8, 12 something? Shut up in there! They will never be able to improve on the VHS format. <laughs> Shut up in there! They will never be able to... doesn't seem to fit. It doesn't seem to fit that. I'm sure it has a very important use near the end of the game. <laughs> right, I think I'm going to leave it there, guys. Um, and I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you come back next time. Please subscribe if you like the channel. My name is Backblast. 
I'll see you later.